This is the alive corridor. I got to say that um, there's a lot of great expression going on in Kauai, and you guys have this environment here that's just pretty much screaming at you. And uh, I think these are sort of screams, but there are non-representational ones. This is abstracted uh, uh, imagery, and yet there are some things that we can identify in this. There's a palm tree. There's a girl in a suit. Uh, but this is about. Oh, there's a guy in a surfboard. But this is sort of the action and involvement of, of, of being an artist thinking uh, emotionally about memory and experience. Um, a great place for artists to launch from. This one here is intriguing too. This is ceramic work. It's clay. Burial ground is what it's called. Is the artist here? I sort of don't want to talk about uh, that because it's, uh, the title is a place that I don't want to go uh, without knowing uh, if there's cultural meaning to this. I'm not going to guess, but it gave me a feeling of uh, distant past and growth of new uh, generations. And that it is very I might have significant meaning. I was also kind of intrigued with uh, the, um, the glaze of the clay and how she conducted that. This piece is uh, the artist here, Betty Jean Matibio. Where are these artists? Where are you people? <laughs> sort of brought me joy. I came in uh, with another piece. She entered two, and they were both the same size, and I kept trying to put them together as a, as a diptych, and uh, it just wasn't working, and, and finally I realized they were, they were two separate pieces, and I couldn't merge them together, although uh, if the artist was here, I would say, hey, how about that? You know, the other piece was really working nicely, except for a few things. Um, this work, again, is hard to do, and so I respected this gradation in color, and and then I liked it, these realistic representational areas that she would bring in here. There seems to be something musical going on here, and the flow of it certainly has this rhythm. It's, it's all always carefully done and thoughtfully, and I appreciate that um, that use of material that we see in her work. <clears throat> Is this artist here, Leslie? This is pretty amazing, and this is colored pencil. Colored pencil on a homemade canvas that's a bed sheet. You make your own canvases out of bed sheets. 400 count linen. Yeah. Yeah. Egyptian cotton. Egyptian cotton. <laughs> um, I put this next to Doug's because she's on that boat. <laughs> And they were sitting together, and, and I moved them apart, and then they went back together again. And now they're hanging together, so this became this whole story that day. Um, but the uh, accuracy of anatomy and the detail, and this is a Mona Lisa of our time. I've got to tell you, it's very alluring. It's an excellent, excellent. I think this piece uh, haunted me overnight. Um, I remember it, and I was looking at it going, colored pencil, I just, it's got varnish on it, and it's, it's just, it's so well done. But then, um, use mineral spirits, is that right? It was a brush, and I scrubbed it in, and yeah. that's why it gets a little flat shine. Okay, if that explained it to me once yeah. I heard that. Yeah. So, yeah, but excellent. Brush, okay. pencil. Mm -hmm. okay. Wonderful technique, and um, use of, uh, colored pencils. Um, this became sort of a portraiture area here, and this is another great piece by Patricia Yu, who I don't see here. Um, Patricia's been in the Shape of Portrait Challenge, I think, three times. Um, and she's venturing out into new areas with her work continually. Uh, she's an artist who I've seen over the years, and I really admire because she's always trying new things. And um, I think we, we need to do that. We don't want to get too stuck in reps or the same things that we do over and over again. <clears throat> this is the only um, fabric piece that was entered. And is this artist here? Yes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Congratulations. This is a beautiful work, and you hand-dyed your own material. I admire that. 
Okay. And I went right to that, and I thought that's very important for people who know, especially in quilting. Um, that's an extra uh, measure uh, of uh, work when the artist has to take the fabric and dye it and hand stitch it, come up with the composition and the design. She has some things that are sort of floating here. You probably can't see them, but they're threads that are flying here that she, she didn't clip. I like that. She's doing this. <laughs> Um, I like the feeling of this um, in all of these areas, and you really sense the, the hand of the artist in this piece. And it's kind of electric, just like when you're under water, seeing some of these fish are electric. I like the, the way she treated her background as well, and the framing out of the piece. Just a nice piece, successful. Congratulations. Is this artist here? It's very realism, which is what I really love about it. But it's a, it's, it's something that we see um, where we live. Um, and is this of uh, this place here? Yeah, it's Neehow. Okay, Neehow, I'm sorry, I didn't read the title. Uh, Neehow Sunset, so you guys uh, live near this. Um, this is oil pastel, and I, I like the use of it very much and how you're blending it into those abstract qualities of uh, departure from representation uh, just by these simple areas and layers that you've given us. Um, and it is very peaceful and it's so smooth and soft. Uh, it's just whispering to us. The one on the other side of the column it is the same way. I don't know why, but I get really emotional with this piece. I, think I can hardly talk about it. If you have a son, Here's the mother nodding. Yes. There's something about a son. This reminds me of me, this teenage boy out fishing with his dog, this beautiful dog looking this way, the line of direction, the five lines of direction that she used to control us as a viewer are brilliant, I think. I love this composition coming through here. I love the sky and the water and the feeling it gives us. It's so crispy. We're so hot. We're, we're getting sunburned almost looking at this. But the coolness of it is calm. And yet, this mind here in this young man, you know, is not calm. It's a beautiful uh, juxtaposition, I think, in that feeling, the emotion that's in the piece and the strength of how it was executed. I love this, Kelly. <laughs> um, this is your next PSA invitation award. Oh, Thank you. Um, when you look close up at this piece, too, how she controlled those little glints of light with her, um, her uh, media, is it's really well done, too. The lighting here is captured so nicely.